I think one of the biggest things for a new Muslim is to take things slow. Um, and part of that advice is to not make any major uh, irrevocable life decisions within the first three to five years of becoming a new Muslim, right? Sometimes it'll work out. We're saying like a, a marriage or a, um, you know, uh, some major life decision, a big move. But usually it's best for a new Muslim to just kind of stay in their place where they're at, their job, and just kind of work on themselves and feel comfortable in their skin so to speak, as a new Muslim. Um, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, right? So what happens is when you become a, a Muslim and you're, you, you've got 100% emotion and uh, zeal and excitement, but um, you, you haven't yet developed the maturity for where to put it or to what to do with that motivation or zeal. And so it actually ends up working against you sometimes. Um, and sometimes you end up making decisions that eventually you're going to go look back on and regret. Um, so it's really, really important to just keep it basic. The things that are uncontroversial, that have to do with just becoming a better person. If, you, if you're looking to volunteer uh, your time for charity or you want to help uh, poor people or you want to just be a better family member, be a better daughter or son or brother or sister, um, spending time with people and just being helpful and work on your prayers. I think that's really just basic, basic stuff. You don't need to get in over your head with a lot of the details. You don't need to overwhelm yourself with the rules. All that stuff is going to come uh, with time and experience. Um, the other piece of advice, maybe the last piece of advice, of advice I would give to someone who wants to know what they should do, okay, let's say that they're not content um, with just kind of the action aspect of, of the religion and they, they're looking to learn and they want to, to know where should they start. Honestly, I think the place to start is, is with understanding who Allah is, really trying to learn Allah's names, uh, who He is, who He's trying to tell us that he is through his names and what he does and what he doesn't do. Um, because a lot of people come to Islam from other religious backgrounds and they have a warped conception of who Allah is. And that causes a lot of problems and hardship for them. They might think that Allah is very, very harsh um, or they might think that Allah is out to get them. That's another really common thing uh, that I encounter. And all of that comes back to, at its foundation, not understanding who Allah is, not understanding how Allah's mercy works, not understanding how His justice fits in with His mercy and His love and His goodwill towards the creation. So I would really encourage a new Muslim, if they're looking to learn anything, to try to meditate upon uh, Allah's names and who Allah is, first and foremost, so that you draw closer to your Creator um, you're going to feel more present in your prayer, even if you don't know all the rules yet or all the things to say in Arabic. You at least know who you're talking to, right? Um, so that's, that's, I think, the first advice that I would give.